for our final step in this masterpiece, uh, let's talk about that drive folder we created earlier. Uh, so inside of my drive, we made the seventh grade social studies folder that we see here. Um, you have the capability, or I'm sorry, don't have the capability, you will have the capability to make anything that you drop into this folder automatically publish straight to your website. Let me show you how that is. Earlier on, we came in here and we um, went to the sharing settings of this folder by clicking that drop down or right clicking on the folder, and we made this anyone with a link can view. Uh, we did that for a reason. We're going to copy that link by clicking that button right there, hit copy link, and say done. And we are going to go back to our website. We're going to click back over there, and this is our site. Again, we're signed in, we can edit, and we have stuff going on. What we're basically going to do, and you can take this in any direction you want to, depending on your fluency, uh, we're going to put this link on this page so people have access to it anytime they need to. And then anything I, as a teacher, put in that folder, my students automatically have access to it as well as my parents. Think about that kid who's out sick. Uh, between having access to your calendar, uh, which should have your events on it, and stuff attached to it um, that's located within that file, uh, your class is an open book. And as a parent, I could honestly say I appreciate that so much. Uh, to know what my daughter's doing, and to, so that way when I say, what'd you do at school today? She says, I don't know. I say, actually, you did this. And I know that by having your calendar and stuff integrated here. Uh, but we've got our calendar already done. We've got this file here. We have clicked on that, and we have uh, shared it and copied that link. And okay, so we're on our website. Now what do I do? Let's go back to the main page, and we need to put this link somewhere. Now, if you understand hyperlinks, you could, in any editable window, put it there. Uh, one of my favorites to do is if I'm on my main page, Mr. Green's class page, uh, to go add an external link page. We talked about that earlier. I have page properties, um, add new page, and I'm going to go with an external link page. Uh, this is the easiest way to do it. I hit 7th grade, title it 7th grade social studies. Uh, resources maybe, I don't know. Get created if you want. Uh, hit that little blue arrow, it likes to be hit. Uh, and this is where I put the website address. Then I put that on there. Uh, you might have to get rid of this HTTP or I believe if you just click off. Yep, it goes away on its own. So as you click off there, you hit create page, and then bada bing, bada boom, you have that link there. Now here's the cool part about it. Since you set that share setting up for that folder that anything in there is public on the web, people can see it. Whatever you drop in that folder will then show up connected to your website. Somebody clicks on that seventh grade social studies link on your site, they then see this. You have unit one, unit two, Strive It Readers, Chromebook Challenge, test training to knock out um, that sounds weird to say but anyway uh, all that content is there you also have the ability to whatever you giveth you can take away say so done there I can remove training to knock out and just take it back over to my drive see how I can just drag and drop say so, okay uh, move that over there I go back to this hit the back button and come back again Training, 7th grade social studies resources. <sighs> Wait for it. Training to knock out is gone. You determine what you give your kids access to. So that is how you in take that link, place it on your website, anything you put inside of there, people have access to. So stay tuned for more.